Welcome to Travel Secrets Mexico. Today we're reporting from a city where you can take your whole family out at night, wander around, and not get mugged. You can enjoy a warm evening at the waterfront walkway, known as the Malacan. Sit in a nice bistro with your friends and watch people walking by and having fun. If you listen to the mainstream media and travel warnings, you probably think tourists here have to dodge bullets. But the only shots you need to worry about are shots of tequila. You can take a short flight from the U.S. or Canada, or come on a cruise ship. Even Mickey Mouse is not afraid to visit. Disney Cruise Lines docks here regularly. We're talking about Puerto Vallarta, the most popular city on Mexico's west coast. Puerto Vallarta celebrated its 94th anniversary of its founding as a township and its 44th anniversary of its elevation to city status. Puerto Vallarta is located on the east shore of Banderas Bay. The bay is Mexico's largest and one of the world's deepest bays with more than 3,000 feet. Banderas Bay has a horseshoe-shaped coastline with over 60 miles of golden sand beach. The first place of interest driving from the airport toward Puerto Vallarta is Marina Vallarta. It takes only five minutes until Neptune appears, marking the entrance to the marina. This modern marina complex has slips for more than 300 boats, ranging from 30 to 140 feet. The marina boardwalk offers a variety of shops and art galleries, as well as a wide selection of restaurants with cuisine from all over the world. The El Faro Lighthouse provides a bird's eye view and shows not only the water entrance to the marina and main basin, but also the high-rise condominium developments. Visitors who like the marina environment stay at the Flamingo Hotel, overlooking a beautiful pool area and luxury yachts. Within walking distance and right at the beach are several first-class hotels and resorts with spas and health clubs. The Villas Vallarta, the Weston Regina, and the Marriott Casa Magna. Banderas Bay is also paradise for divers of all levels. It offers an abundance of marine life. Mantas, sharks, dolphins, turtles, and large schools of fish. The diversity of the bottom structure is quite attractive. Some sites feature drop-offs, small coves, shallow reefs, and impressive volcanic rock formation. The only five-star paddy dive center in Puerto Vallarta is owned and operated by Vallarta Adventures. Next to the marina is the Marina Vallarta Golf Club. This 18-hole course was designed by famous American architect Joe Finger. Its hacienda-style clubhouse and the tropical ambiance of the Pacific Coast combined with the view of the Sierra Madre Mountains and Banderas Bay, make it a favorite place for players from around the globe. Each December, the Marina Vallarta Golf Club hosts the International Pro-Am, one of the largest Pro-Ams in the world. Only five minutes from the marina is the recently expanded cruise ship terminal. This is also where the hotel zone begins. Just across the street from the terminal is the Galleria Vallarta, a great place to cool down during the summer months and a great place to shop year-round. This mall includes Liverpool, Mexico's equivalent to Macy's. Here you'll find several restaurants, many boutique stores, a movie theater, and even a casino. Many are surprised to see the Sam's Club, Walmart, and Office Depot right next to the mall. Puerto Vallarta has progressed over the last decade into a modern city with all the creature comforts for tourists from all over the world. The next stop is El Centro, the heart and soul of Puerto Vallarta, where the action is. Dining, art, and shopping are all available at the Malacan. This popular oceanfront walkway is the place where people stroll and watch all kinds of outdoor performances. A sensory and cultural feast they'll never forget. Visitors enjoy the cobblestone streets, the flea markets, the museum, attend cultural events, or relax at the town square and listen to one of the bands.
some take a dip in the ocean and enjoy the endless beach. If you look for Earth-friendly adventures, you are at the right place. Both first-time and experienced adventure travelers find in Banderas Bay everything they're looking for. A short boat trip to Las Calaitas opens up a window of discovery. There is something for everyone. Paddle boards and kayaks are available. Snorkelers can experience the intense beauty just below the waterline. Others want to watch the action on the water from a comfortable beach chair while sipping a cool drink. This secluded tropical sanctuary has it all. Pure relaxation and plenty of opportunities to explore the surrounding area. Las Calaitas is purely and simply Mexico's Garden of Eden, a wonderful and enchanting tropical beach haven where visitors can explore or relax and let all the stress melt away. There's an abundance of activities here. Don't be surprised to make a few feathered friends. Bring your camera and take some brilliant photographs of the scarlet macaws or other parrots in the tropical garden. At the parrot station, you can play with the birds and even get kissed. Oh no! One, two, three. <laughs> Deeper in the jungle, you can meet a group of squirrel monkeys. Store away your watches, iPhones, and jewelry. The monkeys like shiny and sparkling objects, and you could easily lose your bling bling. Just around the corner, you have a chance to put a beautiful python around your neck, if you are brave enough. Kids can have some extra excitement at the kids' adventure park. After a short introduction and careful preparation, they glide down the zip line and can feel like Tarzan for a moment. <laughs> Further up in the forest, the donkeys are waiting for a ride along a narrow path in the lush green jungle. While the parents enjoy a spa treatment and relax body and soul in a beautiful tropical setting. How do you like it? Uh, it's too good, really good, unreal. The less adventurous meet at the clay modeling workshop and have fun creating objects and creatures only limited by their imagination. After a fun-filled day, the boat is waiting to return everyone to their hotels. Once a year, the Marriott Casa Magna hosts the International Altruism Festival. This gives visitors who look for a purpose-driven vacation an opportunity to participate. International Altruism Festival. This festival initiated eight years ago to benefit 24 local charities. 48 restaurants provide excellent samples of their food. We have beverage companies and the people come in and uh, have a great dining or garden party, circulating experience and all the funds that are gathered are divided equally between 24 local charities. We have children's groups, old folks home, cultural events, libraries, uh, ecology programs, sports teams. It's, it's a very wide variety of charities. And we also have a Give Them a Hand program. And all these uh, charities have on the hands uh, information that they need and opportunities that people can volunteer and they can donate and we put them on the banner to thank the community for their participation. This is every May in Puerto Vallarta and we'd like you to come next May with Travel Secrets Mexico for a purpose driven vacation to the International Altruism Festival in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We paid for surgeries, we buy medicines, we have one little boy that we've been buying medical supplies for him for four years now, every month. And we've done a lot of wonderful things. We just paid for surgery for a six year old boy who hopefully will be able to walk now for the first time in his life.
thousands of tourists fell in love with Puerto Vallarta and decided to spend more time here or retire in this wonderful area. My name is Wayne Franklin. Uh, I'm going to be your host today for Travel Secrets Mexico for this segment. Uh, we're sitting today at the beautiful Paramount Bay condominiums located in the Amapas neighborhood in Puerto Vallarta. Um, what we're going to do today is meet with some folks that have decided to call Puerto Vallarta home. Uh, but before we do, I want to talk a little bit about the marketplace. Um, every place in the world has had some level of an effect on real estate prices in this economy. Uh, and Puerto Vallarta is no exception to that. However, uh, the market here has actually been fairly strong in that uh, while some places have needed to discount their prices uh, substantially, um, in most cases the sellers in Puerto Vallarta have not. Now that might sound a little odd to you, uh, but the reason for it is because over 95% of all real estate owned in Mexico is actually owned debt free. There are no loans against 95% of the real estate in Mexico. That's a very different scenario than in the States or in Canada. And so the holding costs for real estate here are substantially lower as a result without having any mortgage costs low property taxes and reasonable utility rates, it doesn't cost as much for somebody to basically hang on in the marketplace. So while that frustrates a lot of buyers, the astute buyer understands that in reality that's created a very financially strong marketplace. And we're all looking for financial security in these uncertain times, aren't we? It's, it's a really good reason, I think, for people to consider buying in Puerto Vallarta for that, for that reason alone. So now that we've talked a little bit about the marketplace, what I'd like to do is introduce you to a few folks that have decided that Puerto Vallarta is the spot to live. What would you consider to be your favorite part of living in Puerto Vallarta or Mexico? The weather is pretty good. The weather is great. great. It's great we do today. get a little humidity in the summer, and I do have to turn on the air conditioner but I live with the windows open all day. I love, I love the people. I, I tend to interact more with Americans and Canadians just because of where I live and just because I speak their language more easily, although I'm taking Spanish lessons. The people are so friendly. It's so easy to make friends and so easy to have a social life. I don't feel like I left anything behind. My Sundays are my day to go to the beach and de-stress. And de I mean, you jump into the beautiful water, you look up at the mountains, and it's just gorgeous. And like he said, the, the, uh, the people here. I mean, for the moment that we vacationed here, and then certainly when we moved here, it was such an open community, uh, open to meeting new people, open to new ideas, and it's uh, just a very, very friendly country. Also, what I really love about this is it has a very quaint feel. Vallarta has a, a, a different feel than most other cities in Mexico, at least the coastal cities, I think, with the cobblestone streets, mm -hmm. the malecon, the, the, especially the, the cathedral, the church with the crown on top is just glorious. What would you say would be your favorite part of living in, in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico? It's relaxed. It's friendly, the people are wonderful. We've met so many wonderful people here, in fact, and just friendly Mexicans who want to help you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably the best part about living in Mexico. The cost of living is significantly less than the United States. The weather's terrific. Uh, and it's gotten to the point where a lot of the things that we didn't have in the past are available here now. Given all that you know about living in Puerto Vallarta for as long as you have, if you had to make the decision again, would you? I would, and I'd make it sooner. Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, I wouldn't think twice about it. Would have done it sooner. The only thing I regret is that we didn't come here sooner. Yes, we would. In fact, we'd probably move earlier, although we couldn't <laughs> retire earlier. The only thing that kept us from moving here earlier was that we were still working. And we still have the option of moving back to California. We still have a home there. So if we wanted to, we could sell Puerto Vallarta and move back to Palm Springs. Our decision is, is to stay in Puerto Vallarta. We like it here that much. It's great. If you had one message to give to the listeners about living in Puerto Vallarta and Mexico, what would that message be? Don't be afraid. Don't listen to the news. Now, if you deal in drugs, that might be a different story. <laughs> but 
uh, and you're going to maybe a border town. But if you're going to somewhere like Puerto Vallarta, uh, don't worry. It's. I was out last night at 11 o'clock walking alone on the street. I felt perfectly safe. Terrific. It's a great place. Good food, good people. Come, come visit us. It's a great place to visit. It's a great place to live. And no matter what they're saying on the news, we still are getting the reports as well that more and more people are retiring here. Right. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a little bit counterintuitive of the news agencies on the news agencies' parts not to start doing stories about just how many people are ignoring that bad news and still continue to move and retire down here and enjoy life. Don't be afraid to come. And be sure when you do come that you experience as much as possible of the culture. I guess the message would be is remember 20 years ago or even 10 years ago when there was this mystique about coming to Mexico and you felt like it was really a cool place to go and a great vacation or a great place to move. It's really still that way. Yeah, there's some problems along the border and in some communities, but you get away from that and there's a great country here to discover. And we love it here. We don't have any intention of leaving. Puerto Vallarta is home for several world-class chefs and gourmet festivals. Well, we have today our special dinner for the honor of San Pascual Bailon. He's a saint of the Mexican chefs. And we do every year here on the beautiful Malecon, on the Hall of uh, Walk of Fame, we call it, La Camila de la Fama de los Chefs, a special dinner. And we have three chefs who will be prized this year, who their culinary impact was really important in the Mexican cuisine, in the gastronomy of Mexico. And they get a little bronze plate, like in Hollywood, put in the ground. And basically after that we have a good time, good food, beautiful weather, and we are happy to have you here. Bye. standing here in front of the San Pascual Bailon. He looks a little skinny, not like a normal chef, but uh, you heard he did some good, good cooking back in the Middle Ages. And here's Ulrich. Ulrich Schwarz, he is the chief of the prize committee who decides which chefs get no, no, to be no. honored. No, no, I don't decide. I don't decide. I have a committee because the reason is that other chefs who may not be nominated or, or even rewarded, that they don't beat me up. I said it's a committee.
Medical costs increase dramatically in the U.S. and Canada. Therefore, more and more people come to Puerto Vallarta for affordable quality treatments. And you are the, the coordinator of this entire event, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, since uh, three years ago, we start to organize this uh, event, which is uh, the unique event in Mexico. and is considered the second most important in all America Latin and one of the 10 top events on medical treatment around the world. What countries are represented here? Well, uh, uh, Spain is here, uh, Colombia, Costa Rica, Guatemala, United States, and Canada. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the hospitals here in Vallarta? Well, we have in Puerto Vallarta several uh, hospitals like Amerimed, uh, San Javier, and uh, Premier. Those hospitals, they receive many international patients, especially from the United States and Canada. For example. Well, I think the most important thing is to know that we have state-of-the-art equipment, brand new hospital at Amerimed with a brand new cardiac unit. Uh, we have excellent bilingual cardiologists and we have inter uh, interventional cardiologists who do stent placement, those types of things. Um, it's safe. Yeah, that's the most important thing and the, the doctors are very, very caring. Rhythms of the Night, a captivating dance performance, illustrating how ancient pre-Columbian religions and beliefs influenced the myths, legends, and cultures of Mexico. A delicious and romantic candlelight dinner completes an enchanting evening in this exclusive private hideaway.